Hello friends and welcome to another lecture on chemical engineering thermodynamics. Today we will look into a problem that has come in chemical engineering thermodynamics one paper. This problem has come in Mumbai University December 17th. The problem is on your screen problem 4b. It says calculate the molar volume and compressibility factor of SO2 at 100 degrees Celsius. Assume that SO2 follows the rutledge quong equation of state. The equation is given to you and the values and the constants, calculation for constants are given to you. Now, there are two problems here with the question that has been asked. Number one, the pressure at which we have to calculate the volume is not given. That's number one. Now, how do we assume the correct pressure and temperature so that the fluid is in superheated region. Okay. The fluid needs to be in superheated region. That is the point when we will get the value of volume as unique and the value of Z also as unique. Now, how do we make those assumptions? So, the first thing is that if you assume the pressure to be one third of the critical pressure, then you know that the gas is going to obey the Redlich Kong equation of state in a fairly good manner. So let's calculate the pressure first. So that's going to be 48.8, not 48.8, 78. 0.8 divided by 3. So that's 2626 multiplied by 100. So that's 2626 kilopascals. So we take it as 2626 kilopascals, around figure. Right? So we take the pressure as 2626 kilo pascals and the temperature should be taken above the critical temperature. This will also always ensure that the gas is in the superheated vapor region. Okay, so the critical temperature that was given was 430.8. So we assume here 500 Kelvin, right? So we write this as our assumption. Okay, so this is our assumption. Now to solve this problem, we have to calculate the value of A and B. So let's go ahead, calculate the value of A. So it's 0.42748 into 8.314, the whole square into 430.8 the whole raised to 2.5 divided by 7880 that's 114,444 we'll have to consider the maximum decimals that are displayed okay so this the units are going to be kilopascals meter is to 6 per kilo mole the whole square and the value of b that we are going to have is equal to 0 0.08664 multiplied by 8.314 multiplied by 430.8 divided by 7880 and that's 0 0.03938 that's 0 0.03938 meter cube per k mole right so these are the values of a and b we have now 
Now let's further explore in how we can solve this problem. So we have the Van der Waals equation of state as P, not the Van der Waals equation of state, the Redlich Kong equation of state as RT V minus B minus A over root T V V plus B. Now in this equation, we replace V is equal to Z R T over P. Okay. So we get P is equal to R T Z R T by P minus B minus root T Z R T by P Z R T by P plus B and we have A here. Now if I remove Z R T by P common right and we cancel out P also and the RHS and the LHS we get the following equation 1 is equal to 1 over Z minus B minus A Z Z plus B okay where you have A as A P by root T R T square and you have B as B P by R T. Now this becomes a very simple equation. So let's get ahead with the calculation of A and B. Now both A and B are going to be dimensionless. Okay, so let's start with the calculations. So let's take the value of A first. Yes, the value of A is going to be equal to 14,444.3785 multiplied by the pressure at which we need to do the calculation that is 2626 kilopascals, right? divided by the square root of the temperature at which we need to find out that's 500 multiplied by 8.314 into 500 the whole square so that's 0 0.09816 okay so that's 0 0.098 one six that's done and then we have the value of b the value of b is going to be bp by rt so let's take the value of b okay so it's 0 0.03938 into 2626 bp by rt that is 8.314 into 500 that's 0 0.02487 right so we have the value of a and b now we take up this equation and we simplify it in the cubic form so simplifying it in the cubic form is going to be z into z square minus b square is equal to z into z plus b minus a into z minus b. It's a pretty neat form. So that's going to be z cube minus b square z is equal to z square plus b z minus a z plus a b so we have here z square plus b minus a z plus a b 
Now we transfer everything on the LHS. So we have Z cube minus. So a better way to write down that would be a plus minus B square minus B plus A. This is going to be for the Z. So this is Z and we have Z cube and then minus Z square plus minus AB is equal to 0. So let's write down this equation Z cube minus Z square. Let's calculate the constants. So let's do it now. We have minus b square that is 0 0.02487 the whole square minus 0 0.02487 that is b plus a 0 0.09816. And that's equal to 0 0.07267. Okay, Z minus AB. So A is point zero nine eight one six into point zero two. 487 and that's 2.441 into 10 to minus 3 that's 2.441 into 10 to minus 3 is equal to 0 so let's enter this equation into the calculator and calculate out z we are in the last bit of our calculation so that's it so 1 minus 1 plus point zero seven two six seven minus 2.441 minus 3 and we get x1 as 0 0.9242 so we get x1 that is z1 as 0 0.949249 okay and z2 and z3 would be complex numbers so i'll just show it to you it's a complex number and it's the complex conjugate so these are complex therefore these are not real z values and we need to reject it now we have the answer of our question that is z is 0 0.9242 and we need to calculate the volume so the volume is now going to be equal to zrt by p so that's z Point nine two four two into eight point three one four into five hundred divided by P that is two thousand six hundred and twenty six. That's equal to one point four six three zero. So one point four six three zero meter cube per K mole. That will be all students. It was such a simple problem with logic. We could solve it. And if you really try to do it on your own, it should not take you more than five minutes. Do like and subscribe my channel. This is very important to me. I am only 590 subscribers now. I need to reach the critical stage of thousand subscribers before this project starts becoming viable. So I request all of you to subscribe my channel, share my videos as much as possible and please ask the people who have 
receive my videos to whom you are sharing my videos to subscribe my channel only then can i continue on with this project that will be all my friends goodbye